Now, over in Ecuador, the death toll from Saturday's magnitude 7.8 earthquake swept past 500 as of Wednesday evening. Now, that surpasses an unwanted milestone in the worst disaster the country has seen in decades. Citing state of emergency, the president of Ecuador announced a series of financial measures, including a tax increase to rebuild the quake torn country. Our Kim Hae Sung has the latest. Over 400 aftershocks have rattled Ecuador since the earthquake first hit the country last Saturday, inflicting damages that the Ecuadorian government estimates will cost roughly 3 billion U.S. dollars. The president of the disaster hit country unveiled a raft of measures on Wednesday to fund the reconstruction of homes, roads, and buildings. We will obviously have to take temporary measures faced with the magnitude and unexpected nature of this expenditure. We are looking at the possibility of issuing bonds in the international market. The country announced a series of short-term tax hikes, including a two-point increase in the value-added tax for the next year and selling national assets. Wednesday morning's tremor was centered offshore, 70 kilometers from the town of Esmeralda, which lies north of the original quake's epicenter. The powerful aftershock came as Ecuadorians began burying loved ones and hopes faded that more survivors will be found. Global aid organizations are rushing in to send support to the South American country. The World Food Program is sending supplies and the U.N. Refugee Agency is preparing to send temporary shelters. A dozen countries are also involved in the relief effort. The Korean government said Wednesday that it would send 700,000 U.S. dollars worth of humanitarian aid to the hardest hit areas. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.